have a good day. LA Beast here. And the other day, my wife, who has awesome, ridiculous ideas, suggested that I do a video such as when I tricked my brain into eating 10 cactus. And in that video, all I had to do was loosen up my bearings by first consuming four ghost peppers. Uh, so as the pain receptors were releasing through my body and I was starting to sweat profusely, then I submerged my body into freezing cold water. Uh, so as I was shivering and freaking out and having no idea what was going on, I looked down in front of me and I thought to myself, hey, eating 10 cactus right now wouldn't be that bad. Uh, and what do you know? I successfully tricked my brain into eating all 10 cacti. And here today, thanks to my fellow YouTuber friend, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Johnny Scoville, all that I plan on doing is consuming the Johnny Scoville Tube of Terror 2.0. And I'm gonna see if I can keep my cool while slamming these down 20 feet in the air sitting in a chair in the big tree in our backyard. Now, for some of you that may not know, I am not the greatest fan of heights, and it took a lot of courage as we were making the Crystal Pepsi song music video to get up in the air in one of these things, a gyrocopter, uh, which is pretty much like a helicopter, but the guy sitting in the front seat most likely built it in his garage. And then back in 2014, I was roughly 242 pounds right at the weight maximum to go skydiving. And as you can see, the guy, uh, my instructor guy, you, you, could, you could barely see him as my giant body somehow, some way, thank goodness, the parachute held as I went skydiving that time. And for $200 and five straight days of having no idea what the heck I was doing, I somehow, following the instructions, built a 20-foot chair that is now sitting in the big tree in our backyard. I was not following the instructions when uh, it said you need no less than three people to put this thing up in the tree, and I decided to do it by myself anyway. That's all. And what I plan on doing is testing out my craftsmanship by climbing 20 feet up in the air. Uh, and as I'm actually sitting down in this chair, what, what's a, what it's probably gonna do is paralyze my senses. Uh, as I'm probably gonna be thinking about how high off the ground I am, now, and from there, hopefully, as my mind is f thinking about fear from something else, uh, it will outweigh the fear of me uh, staring down Johnny Scoville right in the face as I wolf down these 100% these probably hot as hell corn nugs. I just want to point out that the last time when I consumed Johnny Scoville's Tube of Terror 1.0, I actually ended up throwing up on the dining room table and the 120 year old house that I live in, uh, most likely, probably, becoming the only person who's ever lived in this house to do so. And right here, right now in my hand, I actually have a note that Johnny Scoville wrote me, and I'll read it right now, which says, Hey Beast, I hope this finds you well. Happy to send you the new Tube of Terror 2.0. It is hot, but not as hot as the original. Got a good burn though. I can't wait to watch you. You're the best. Thank you. Much love, Johnny. Now, now my questionable qu uh, question there was, uh, but not as hot as the original. And the Tube of Terror 2.0, uh, pretty much the ingredients are, they're coated with Carolina Reapers, Maruga Scorpions, Seven Pot Primos, Seven Pot Douglas, and Ghost Peppers. And I would definitely say the main difference is, is that the Tube of Terror was actually dusted with 13 million capsaicin crystals, whereas uh, the, the corn nugs are not. I'm going into this thing with ice cold veins, I have not prepared in any way, shape, or form. My my tolerance level is probably on a scale of 100 to zero. I would say my tolerance is roughly at a, a 30, probably 35 uh, right now. I have, in fact, actually read uh, the guide. There's rules, guidelines, uh, a legal document, a full page, uh, pretty much saying that Blazing Foods Johnny Scoville is not responsible. Uh, for anybody that decides to, uh, on their own will, consume one of these things, it is 100% my responsibility, and I do not blame anybody else. 
Uh, knock on wood. And before we get started here, I just want to kind of say, just like a, a quick warning, uh, in what I do, uh, prior to eating anything spicy, a spicy pepper, or any of these challenges, I always make sure to prep my stomach properly. I eat a lot of starches. I have loaded mashed potatoes. I have some tortellinis, which are my go-to. I have a couple bananas, maybe a few slices of bread, uh, but I have some Tums, Pepto-Bismol, etc. Now, so when I actually do eat something spicy, uh, it's not actually want you to burn a hole through my stomach lining. So, uh, with that said, not only is there a warning for this product, but I officially warn anybody watching this video, if you decide to order one of these, you do so at your own risk, just like I'm doing right here, right now. The rules are quite simple. This is in fact a total 15 minute challenge. And you have 10 minutes to eat the entire canister. Then you have a five minute afterburn. With that said, I'm the LA Beast. Let's go outside and wolf down Johnny Scoville's Tube of Terror 2.0. Safely. Safely and responsibly. I am the LA Beast. I am the LA Beast. And I'm about to overcome double turmoil by, by testing my fear of heights by climbing up 20 feet in this tree in this chair that I built while consuming the world's spiciest corn nugs. Tube of Terror. 2.0. Did I pick the probably the worst day to do this as it's really humid? Yes. And there's a lot of flies. So uh, we are rolling. We're rolling. Just gotta get my bearing straight, get my hat, got my towel. I have some milk in my bag. Enough talk, let's do this. freaking out. All right, maybe I can lean this back a little bit. Okay. Whatever, okay, whatever that is, it, that's how we're doing it. Okay. Overall thoughts, I'm just a tiny bit nervous. Okay. We're up here. This is, this is not a joke. We are 100%. We're 100% in a tree. I'm in a tree amongst other trees. Please just work. The timer set to 10 minutes, as you can see right here. I got my music going. Uh, so without further ado, I am the LA Beast. And I'm about to become the first person to consume the world's spiciest corn nugs. 20 feet up in the air, sitting in a tree. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, okay. Uh, this is sealed. Uh, let's just open it, man. Now, the goal here, I'm going to have to stay 100% as calm as possible. Usually when I do these things, I'm like shaking around. <sighs> just stay calm, man. You got this. <sighs> okay. Come on. One. Okay. I'm going to start. Oh. I'll show you. I'll just show you somehow. I'm starting the camera. I'm starting the clock. Three, two, one. Start. Ah, ten minutes. Oh. Right. For the love of goodness. Okay, you know what? I just touch them all over my face now. They look like pieces of uh, cat kibble. <sighs> so it's immediately hot on the tongue. Oh. 
My nose is running, it's like a guy with the daggers. Stabbing the back of my throat. Okay. I can't see. No, dude, I'm holding on. I'm coming down, freak it out. I'm high up here, okay. I can't feel my mouth. I feel I just scared a blue jay. Okay. My head is tingling. Okay. Whoa. I feel lightheaded. I hope my mouth is tickling. I can't move yet. I don't want I have to get down safely. Well, in conclusion, if a guy's sitting up in a tree trying to eat the world's spiciest corn nugs and nobody's around, and things go terribly wrong, can people hear it? Probably. Uh, I, I scared off a blue jay while I was up there. I scared an aggressive bird. Uh, and you know what? For, for good old time's sake, I'm going to post this video in full. Uh, and regardless of the outcome of what YouTube does to it, uh, sure, you know what, was this a major fail? Yes, it was, but uh, I overcame my uh, fear of heights. So it's actually a little bit concerning because uh, literally uh, as like the pain receptors were releasing through my head, my mouth started to feel tingly. Uh, and, like I felt like dizzy. 
And as I was like dizzy, I like literally was taking this one hand and like grabbing on uh, to the armrest, which I installed properly, uh, hanging on for dear life. So, uh, yeah, like uh, I was trying to show the camera, it was bent down at an angle. I did not even come close at all. I ate that many uh, before, before, yeah, my body literally, uh, they were sitting right there. And I just, I, I don't know. Am I a, am I a, a pussy? Probably, when it comes to eating spice. So pretty much, uh, that's what I get for not practicing whatsoever. Um, yeah, uh, 100%. Uh, fair enough, the first spicy thing of 2022, fail. But you know what, in the process, I have a nice tree chair out of it uh, to where here in the state of New Jersey legally, most likely, probably, I'm gonna get, go up there and probably get a high. Literally and figuratively at the same time. So on that note, uh, I don't know what I just did, but I do know this. CLA Beast. Have a good day. These are they're hot. These are these are not hot. these are not not hot. Are you okay? <laughs>